If you've ever played Hive Sky Wars, you've probably fallen off the map in the waiting lobby at some point. And if you're looking the correct direction, you've probably seen that there's a lot more to the Sky Wars lobby than you originally thought. And if you're someone like me who likes to explore stuff, you've probably tried looking around to get to the parts of the map that are relatively unknown. And that's the part where you realize that you really only have about 20 seconds before your game starts because Sky Wars is a popular mode and games fill up really fast. In this video, I'm gonna try and figure out what is really under the Sky Wars map. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, Hit the bell to get notified when I post new videos or go live, and enjoy! So like I said, Sky Wars is popular and games fill up pretty fast. I already knew where you had to go to get under the map, but I tried multiple times and there just wasn't enough time to really get anywhere. I had an idea that maybe later at night games would take more time to fill up, and while I wasn't entirely wrong, I still didn't really have enough time to explore anything, I just had enough time to almost get there. I also tried doing some parkour to see if maybe I could get down below the map, but it seemed like some blocks were intentionally placed to make sure that you couldn't actually parkour down below the map, which got me thinking, why are they hiding stuff from us down under the map? If they're making it next to impossible to get down there, there's gotta be something down there that they don't want us to see. And it was at this point that I realized that I had to figure out what was down there, and that I would need to think a way outside of the box if I was actually going to do so. So as I was brainstorming, I remembered that one of my friends had done a video on Hive Sky Wars, and that he had about a 5 second cinematic of the Hive Sky Wars lobby. Unfortunately, this turned out to be a dead end because he was actually on the Java Hive and he literally just used Replay Mod for the cinematic. Except it wasn't actually a dead end. He actually gave me a crucial piece of information, which was the fact that it was on the Hive Java server. I went and checked it out, and sure enough, it was the exact same lobby as the Bedrock server. I initially thought this was amazing news because no one plays on the Java server, which means that I should just have free reign to run around the lobby and explore it some. But one thing to note is for whatever reason, Hive Sky Wars games on the Java server actually fill up even faster than the Bedrock server, but that didn't really matter for me. See, on Java, there's a mod that you can use called World Downloader, which literally just downloads the world from whatever server you're on. And so that's exactly what I used, and I was able to just join a Sky Wars lobby and download the map. There was a little bit of an issue with the fact that it also, for whatever reason, downloaded the hub along with the Sky Wars lobby map download. And I tried world editing it out initially, but world edit just wasn't powerful enough and literally couldn't delete the lobbies. So we're just gonna roll with the fact that the main lobby is also sort of in the background along with the Sky Wars lobby. And so there it was, the Hive Sky Wars lobby, all mine, and I was free to explore it with no time constraints. I'm actually gonna switch to live commentary here just so you guys can see my reaction for when I see stuff in the lobby. All right, well, here we are. Um, obviously, there are like the signs and stuff like that because these are part of the Java edition. These don't exist on Bedrock Hive. But, I mean, it, it looks pretty much the same. There's like some heads and stuff, which I think are supposed to represent. Like, I think that's supposed to be honey or something. There's like a little bit more detail, I guess, on the Java edition, but it's not too different. So here's the way down to get, I guess, down to the unknown part of the lobby. I hear a bunch of bats, and I'm actually, no, I do know why. There's another secret area that I guess I'll show you guys later. I just want to get down to where we've been wanting to go. There's actually a sign right here that says, Do you know what you fight for? Uh, I, no? May, I don't know. Why are you asking me that sign? I'm pretty sure that sign does not exist on uh, Bedrock Edition. It's such a silly thing. Oh, really? So many wars over the lemon tree. Huh. Okay. Well, there are lemons here, apparently, and people are fighting over them. Nice. And so you're telling me, all of this searching, just for a lemon tree? Are you joking? I mean, I'm sure there's gotta be some other, like, cool parts of the lobby that, uh, we haven't seen yet. I saw this as I was coming up, so this is actually just, like, a way to get up. Wait. Don't actually tell me that I could just get in through here. Please don't tell me that I could have just walked behind the hub. Wait, you're actually joking. Please don't actually tell me that I'm this dumb. I really have wasted like so many hours on this already, and if I find out that I literally could have just walked behind... No, please don't. No, you're actually joking. So there was a shortcut this entire time? 
No, wait. <laughs> what? I could have gotten to the lemon tree so easily. Oh my god. I mean, I'm sure there's still gotta be like other cool stuff that I haven't explored though, so... I mean, I guess we can still explore those. There's also a maze right here that I've never really fully explored, and that's what the bat sounds are coming from, but I know I've been in this a little bit, but obviously because of the time constraints, I've never actually been in the maze. So we'll see if we can like find anything interesting in here. Hey, I found something. I did it, you earned a good rest. Best nectar to be found. Oh, I found like a honey bar, or just a bar, or something. Interesting. I've actually seen this, I think, when I was like jumping off trying to like look under the map. I'm pretty sure I saw this glass thing right here. I'll have to look back through the footage, but I'm pretty sure I saw it. Either way, we found a bar over here, which is kinda cool, but for a kid's server? I don't know, but either way, kinda cool. There's also a pirate ship right here that I'm not entirely sure if you can get inside of on the Bedrock Edition, but it exists. Oh cool, you can. Okay, interesting. Interesting. This is like actually really well made for something that 90% of the players aren't even going to be able to get to see. Interesting. A Team Nectar map by Nits Nistune. Nits Nistune? I don't know. Hello. This is pretty cool, but still, it's kind of unfortunate there's really not much way to I guess look at the map unless, like, you literally world download and go explore it yourself. I think it would be really interesting for the Hive to, like, release it to the public. Either way, if you have Java, you can world download it. It's pretty easily. Hive, don't ban me for world downloading. I was just really curious, okay? So guys, what did we learn from this today? I learned that I am literally blind and that I did not look hard enough to try and figure out how to get down to under the map. I think we all learned that there is a war over a lemon tree for whatever reason. And I think we all learned that there's so much more to the hive lobby than what you can see on the surface. And it's unfortunate that there's no way to really download the maps other than world downloading from Java so that we can explore it if we want to. I understand why the lobby isn't downloaded and that's because other servers can use it and possibly take away from Hive's player base by deception by telling players that they're on the real Hive server when they're actually not, and using this map as proof. But I hope one day, possibly when the lobby is retired, or even when the Sky Wars game mode is retired, that this map will be made public so that players can explore and I guess learn a little bit of the lore of the Hive since I think that might be part of what all the signage was for on the Java version. So anyways, I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I've been thinking about and planning this video for a while, and it's kind of unfortunate that it all came crashing down by the fact that I was just blind and didn't see a second entrance to the tunnel right behind spawn. Either way, subscribe if you're new and enjoy this type of content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.